These judgments are hilarious, honorable, and sometimes heartwarming. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Judge Caprio cases. Well, I was making, a right, hand, the, I was making a right hand turn. Did you ever read the driver's manual? I mean, it was so long ago. I, I don't even know what I had for breakfast. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a trip to Providence, Rhode Island to sit in on the most memorable cases that Judge Frank Caprio has ever presided over. Do you feel so bad that you want to help her pay for it? <laughs> Not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> Number 10. The Graduation Clause A young motorist gets caught going through a red light on a traffic camera. Although Judge Caprio quickly takes apart the defendant's excuse that the signal was yellow, he still gets to know the accused. Looks, it was red in the video, so... But then it turned red on you? It sneaked up on you? <laughs> when the judge discovers the defendant is a high school student with college aspirations, he decides to waive the violation on one condition. The student must earn a college degree. Well, my, my chief investigator, Inspector Carrigan, out to make sure you graduate from college. The way that Caprio encourages the student is heartwarming. Even though things go a little off the rails when the student claims he knows the judge's grandson, the case is still a great display of Caprio's kind nature. <laughs> Someone's keeping something from me. <laughs> We're gonna have a family meeting tonight. <laughs> Number nine, honesty is the best policy. In this case, a father was charged with going a blistering 10 miles per hour over the 25 mile per hour speed limit. After asking a few questions, Judge Caprio invites the man's family to the front of the courtroom. Well, I didn't feel like we were, you know, going exceeding too much over the limit. Not too much. No, no like just a just, little. Yeah, just a little. I didn't. Even, no, I, she, she. <laughs> I was <laughs> the honest one. He then asks the defendant's son Menelik to say whether his father is innocent or guilty. Menelik doesn't hesitate to do the right thing and gives an honest verdict. Guilty or not guilty? What do you say? Guilty. Guilty. Everyone erupts in laughter as the boy incriminates his father. Fortunately for the defendant, Judge Caprio decides to dismiss the speeding charge. He also ends the case by giving Menelik a shout out for his honesty. Just be careful down there. And you have a very honest young man as well. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Number eight, learning how to stop. This case was short, but definitely entertaining. Deborah came to court thinking that she had two red light violations. Upon discovering she was sent a third ticket for the same offense before she received the other two, she formed an illogical defense. Deborah claimed that if she had known about the earliest ticket, she would have stopped herself from going through two more lights. If I had gotten the ticket in April, these two wouldn't have happened because I would have known just I had to stop. Judge Caprio's baffled reaction is priceless. After absorbing her lapse in logic, he dismantles her argument and offers to show the video evidence. When Deborah declines, he lets out one last laugh before making her pay the fines. All right, pay the clerk. Number seven, let me give you a better argument. Another driver was charged with just barely sliding through a red light. She argued that a box truck blocked her view of the light changing. It was obvious the light was red. That's not really your argument. I'll show it to you again, but... No, that not, is my argument. You gotta, oh, it is. Oh, if you Sorry. Want to stick, it, stick with that one. It's because it's going nowhere. Let's take a look at it again. <laughs> Judge Caprio checked the camera footage and quickly discounted her argument. However, he offers her a better defense that was based in traffic law. We, j we usually allow two-tenths of a second. Okay. And you were three-tenths of a second. I extend it to three-tenths. Okay but his offer seems to go over the defendant's head, and she still tries to use her original argument to win the case. Although Caprio criticizes her for not listening, he still dismisses the charge. You don't listen too well. Considering that this case could have cost the defendant $85, this driver was lucky that the judge had a great defense. Based on the three-tenths of a second, the matter is dismissed. Thank you. Number six, ridiculously close ticket. One ticket on Cushing Street, no parking, eight to 10. Correct. Are you were there at, oh no. <laughs> if you've ever gotten a parking ticket for being a bit too early, this case will be cathartic for you. Sarah pulled up to a zone that did not allow parking until 10. After she parked at 9.58, a ticket was issued for her car at 9.59 and 58 seconds. 
It's clear from the start that Caprio finds this violation utterly ridiculous. These are the city ordinances, Inspector Quinn, that she violated. But before dismissing the case, he jokingly calls Sarah out for her horrible decisions and playfully threatens jail time for the minor offense. Inspector Quinn, what does justice demand in this case? Is this jail? By the time Sarah exits, Caprio leaves her and most of the courtroom in stitches. <laughs> I think 9.59 is close enough to 10. <laughs> Matt is dismissed. Thank you. Number five, instantly dismissed. A helmet-clad man named Jose Barrentos arrives to court to fight a parking ticket. Barrentos explains that his son was picking him up from the hospital after a recent brain surgery. But when a traffic officer saw his son had pulled up next to a fire hydrant, they received a parking ticket. After hearing the explanation, Judge Caprio doesn't hesitate to dismiss the case. Right, case is dismissed. I appreciate it, Your Honor. Thank you. Good luck. What makes this verdict even more heartwarming is that the judge takes a moment to ask Jose how he's doing. In a brief interaction, Caprio once again shows that he truly cares about the people that come to his courtroom. Uh, so that's so why you're wearing, wearing the helmet? helmet? Yes. Yeah. So hopefully in October I'm good. Okay, we're rooting for you. Good luck. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you. Number four, your sentence is breakfast. A young girl named Janice is called to the stand to judge her mother's case. After hearing her mom's argument, Caprio asks Janice to decide whether her mother will get a fine or be let off the hook. What's your name again? Just go charge me 50. 50. So you want to charge her $50? <laughs> After the girl hilariously chooses to charge her mother 50 bucks, the judge asks if the girl has eaten breakfast. When she shakes her head, the judge says the case will be dismissed if her mother takes her out to eat. Well, we suppose I make a deal with your mom, okay? That if she buys you breakfast when you leave, that I'll dismiss, the, I'll dismiss it. This case wasn't even the only time a defendant got this delicious sentence. In Caprio's courtroom, you cannot underestimate the most important meal of the day. Now, I want you to order up a pretty good, I want you to order a lot of stuff because he's going to be saving 30 bucks. Is that a good deal? Yeah, it's a little bacon. Okay. Number three, way too many lights. You don't always need a complicated defense to succeed. In one case, a man is charged with going through a red light. He admits his guilt and adds that he was confused because there were mad lights at the intersection where he turned. In that location, it's like mad lights. I was confused. Instead of discounting the man's argument, Judge Caprio takes a closer look at it. He agrees that there were too many lights, while calling out the traffic controllers responsible for that intersection. In your lane of traffic, there's a green light. In the other lane of traffic, which is not your lane, there's a red arrow. After Caprio makes sure the defendant recognizes the problem, he dismisses the case. This verdict shows that Caprio really listens to arguments, even if he chooses to phrase it differently. See, I knew he had a great argument. <laughs> he came in well prepared today. Number two, a veteran speech. As soon as Judge Caprio reads the charges for a parking ticket, the defendant pleads guilty and asks to explain. The defendant reveals that he's a veteran and parked on the sidewalk of a VA hospital while receiving medical treatment. He goes on to highlight that parking is a consistent problem there and asks the judge to consider a lighter sentence for himself and other veterans that receive care near the hospital. For other veterans and myself, the fine is too hefty for the first time offense in that area. Caprio responds with a heartfelt speech that commends veterans for their sacrifice. Whether it's in uh, combat or whether it's in uh, active duty in a foreign country or whether it's here, it makes no difference. They have sacrificed a period of time of their life to serve this country. He closes by dismissing the case along with any fees. In disposing of this case, what I'm gonna to say to you, sir, is thank you for your service and the matter is dismissed. Thank you very much, Your Honor. I wanna thank you for years of service to the community. Before we pass a verdict on our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Baby's four years old, the party's going on at, at 2.30 in the morning. That's when the car was parked. So they were having a birthday party for a four-year-old at 2.30 in the morning, Inspector Quinn. It must have been after the nap. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, regardless of the outcome, this is the best court experience I've had. We got Miss Rhode Island, You're, everyone's having a good time, so just want to say that. Well, well, clearly, Judge, he's been in a court before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you... Oh, no, 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 me no, 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 right? no, no, I'm going to have to stop at every intersection and work three or four times before I cross the street <laughs> that's now. That's right, that's right. Oh, you're not going to do that to me? No, I shall not, I promise. Okay, good. Number one, grieving mother. 
<laughs> I'm just really having a tough time, Your Honor. Andrea Rogers came into Caprio's courtroom with tickets totaling up to $400. In the middle of the proceedings, she's overcome with emotion. Yeah, the one on 11 one, I went to Social Security because they had cut my check because my son was recently killed last year. Rogers reveals that she accumulated the tickets while being evicted and taking care of her son's affairs after his death. So I got a ticket, he won possession of the apartment. Once Caprio hears her story, he reduces her fines to $50. When Andrea admits that that would leave her with just $5, he changes his verdict on the spot and dismisses all of her tickets. Thank you, Rana. <clears throat> I'm not gonna leave you with $5. I'm not going to leave you. I'm going, to, I'm going to dismiss everything. Caprio's incredible display of compassion brought him national attention and showed that a little kindness can make a huge difference in somebody's life. Okay. You, good, good luck to you. you. Good luck. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.